Hello everybody, Gary Stuckey with Steve Perry News. It's been a while. Just last year, right? <laughs> it's been over way over a month. But it's Steve Perry's birthday. So I gotta say happy birthday, Steve Perry. 75 years old today. Wow. Hard to believe, right? 75 years old. A good age. He's he's hanging in there. He's doing good. Looks healthy. He's been taking it easy. You haven't been hearing from him lately. Right, not not a lot going on in the Steve Perry world, you know. And it's kind of hard when you have a channel about Steve and Journey, but there's not a whole lot going on. And if you try to post anything else besides Steve, nobody cares because <laughs> they're so used to seeing Steve that they don't care about whatever. That's why I did another channel called Real Music with Gary Stuckey. Uh, but anyway, that's another topic altogether but uh let me say this steve now where is steve inquiring minds want to know people wonder some say he's retired you know there's no proof of that but uh he hasn't retired you know and i believe he's taking a break uh from doing anything strenuous there's no pressure when you're steve he doesn't need money he doesn't need a whole lot of stuff uh, you know, he's okay. Um, so he has to do it for the love, right, of the music. Now, he said in the past he's got music already done. He's just got to, you know, release it. Uh, he, he's all the time working in his studio uh, at home. Uh, he's mentioned that. He's also mentioned uh, that once he got out of that uh, the Traces era, you know, he had some projects there, and then he wants to go to another phase he said, another phase of his life or career, you know, in, in the music world. Um, but here's what I'm thinking now. You know, you can take this however, you know. Um, you know, last year, he, he did some background work, you know, singing with, like, the High Kings, remember that? And uh, Lois Mahalia, uh, who I had a chance to talk to. Check out that interview. Uh, so he had a lot of fun doing that kind of behind the scenes. He was here, he was there, he was doing different things. Uh, not a whole lot as far as, uh, uh, his, uh, personal recording. He did do the, uh, Dolly Parton song, Open Arms, you know, so we had to wait until the end of the year for that, you know, back in November, that was a big deal. And I think he figured that since he had that going on, that would hold people over for a while, <laughs> but you know, fans are getting, you know, antsy and uh, impatient. They want to know, hey, where's Steve? Where's the music? Where's, uh, you know, where's the uh, new album? Where's new music at? But here's what I think, okay? 2024, new year. Uh, he he kind of laid low for a while, you know, in the recordings that he did, uh, nothing major as far as having to go out there and do anything. Um, so here's what I think. For this year, he will surprise a lot of people. This is my prediction. He will surprise a lot of people with releasing new material. Now, what form? At least one song, I hope. Maybe an album. In some form, I think he'll release new music. Also, uh, I think he'll actually have something to do with Journey for the 50th anniversary. I don't know in what form that will be. Whether it's big. Will he show up on stage and sing a few songs? Don't know. But I do believe he'll acknowledge something. In the form of the 50th anniversary. Something will happen there. Uh, and uh, I think fans will love that. That's just my, you know, my guess. But back to Steve's birthday. Happy birthday, Steve. And uh, it's his birthday. He shows up online. It's always cool when Steve shows up. And he posted this. Let's check this out. Now, you'll need to go check out his uh, message that he posted on his Facebook page. He leaves a little message. Talks about his birthday memories. He talks about the house uh, he grew up in in Hanford. Here's a picture coming up right here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and he talks about the memories 
of those days. Pretty cool. Check it out if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's always cool to hear from Steve, and especially on his birthday, right? Yes, always cool to hear from the voice, Steve Perry. And uh, also, uh, Neil Sean wished Steve a happy birthday over on Twitter. Greg Riley over on uh, Instagram and Facebook uh, said happy birthday. So that's cool. So maybe we will hear more stuff. Those guys love him. Maybe he'll work with those guys. Maybe to be outside of Journey. There's all kinds of possibilities. I'm just looking forward to Steve doing anything. But we'll see as time goes by. And until then, whatever you do, don't stop believing. God bless you.